In this video, I'm going to do one simple example. Uh, though it looks simple, it can be tricky. Mm, the question is, uh, the difference between two numbers is 3. The difference between the reciprocal is 1 over 90. What are the two numbers? So it's a number example. Okay, so you can't do by trial and error. It's difficult. You can do though. Okay, so what does it say? The two numbers, the difference between two numbers is 3. Okay, so how do we tackle that? So I ask, okay, so there are two numbers. So one number is greater than the other number by 3. Okay, so, so let me give you an example, suppose. So 5 and 8 are two numbers who have a difference of 3. Okay, what does that mean? You can write 5 plus 3 is equal to 8, okay? Or you can write 8 minus 5 is equal to 3. Or uh, what can we write? 8 minus 3 is equal to 5. They all mean the same thing, that the difference between 5 and 3 is 8. So, uh, so there's one number which is smaller. So 5 is smaller than 8. Okay, so we'll assume like this. Let one number, or not let instead of one number, let the smaller number be x. Let the smaller number be equal to x. Therefore, the greater number should be what? Greater number would be, if this is x, how we express 8 in terms of x? If 5 is the smaller number, 5 is the smaller number here, and if that I have taken as x, I hope you understand this number would be x plus 3. So the greater number can be taken as x plus 3. Okay, now that's easy. Now this is where the tricky part comes. The difference between the reciprocals is 1 over 90. So let me talk about reciprocal. Now what is a reciprocal? Reciprocal. Reciprocal, the other word is inverse or multiplicative inverse. Suppose uh, the reciprocal, okay, the reciprocal of 2 is 1 over 2 okay they are reciprocal okay the reciprocal of say 2 thirds is 3 over 2 okay the reciprocal of say 5 quarters is 4 fifths now how do we decide their reciprocal the definition is if two numbers multiply, suppose you go two times half, you get one. So they are reciprocal. If you multiply this to two thirds and three halves, that will also give you one. Okay. So same thing if you multiply five quarters times four fifths, that will also give you one. So two numbers are reciprocals if the product is. 1. So what do we know about reciprocal? Suppose, uh, so let's take the number 5 and 8, okay? So 5 is less than 8. But if you take the reciprocal of 5, which is 1 fifth, the reciprocal of 5 is 1 fifth, and the reciprocal of 8 is 1 eighth. Now which is greater here? Is 1 fifth greater or 1 eighth? Okay, you should be knowing one fifth is twenty percent. Okay, and one eighth is half of a quarter, and quarter is twenty five percent. So one eighth, you should be knowing is twelve point five percent. So one fifth is greater than. Sorry, one fifth is greater than one eighth. Okay, so this is where the trick comes here. Yeah? So what does it? What do they say? The the difference between the reciprocals is one over ninety. So let me write that again. 
So what are the numbers? We know x is less than x plus 3. So using the same principle, 1 over x is greater than 1 over x plus 3. Okay, so when we write the difference, the difference is positive. So when you're writing the difference, you have to take the greater reciprocal first. So the greater reciprocal is not the reciprocal of 1x plus 3, but of this. So the second equation, okay, so second equation, uh, not the second equation. So can I say 1 over x minus 1 over x plus 3? I can do also this in a simultaneous way. I'm, I've taken a quadratic form, 1 over 90. So this is 1 over x is greater than 1 over x plus, <clears throat> x plus 3 by 1 over 90. Okay. So I'll give an example here. Suppose say 5 is greater, greater than 2 by 3. So what, how can you write that? 5 is greater than 2 by 3. So I can say 5 minus 2 is equal to 3. So that same thing I've written. What, what What's this, the difference between the... Oh, no, sorry. The, the statement was very clear. The difference between the reciprocal is 1 over 90. So the difference is... This is the difference. Okay. Now we have to do algebra and solve this. So what I'm going to do is, I don't like these denominators. So I'm going to multiply all with x times x plus 3 times 90. Okay, or let me write it in a proper way. So this, I'm going to multiply all with 90x times x plus 3. So I'm going to multiply this with minus 90x times x plus 3 divided by x plus 3 is equal to 90 times 90x times x plus 3 over 90. So basically what I have done is I have multiplied all by the same numerator. That means I have not done anything. Okay. So what will happen now? So this and this gets cancelled. So this is a bracket, so this whole thing will get cancelled. So what have we got? So we've got 90 times x plus 3 minus 90x is equal to x times x plus 3. So let us do the manipulation now. So this is 90x plus 270 minus 90x is equal to x squared plus 3x. So this and this gets cancelled. So 270 is equal to x squared plus 3x. So this is 0 is equal to, I'm taking away 270 from both sides. So 3x minus 270. So now you've got x squared now this has become a simple quadratic equation. Now the two factors of 270, which gives you 3. Okay, so I know, <coughs> say, 90 times 3 is 270. So this is 30 times uh, 3 times 3. So this is 10 times 3 times times 3. Okay, so which are the two factors of uh, 270 which gives you 3. Okay, so let me use my graphic calculator. Okay, so uh, let me use my graphic calculator menu. I'll go to equation. Where's my equation? Yeah, equation uh, simultaneous. No, polynomial, uh, yeah, polyno polynomial second degree, 
1, 3, and minus 270. So, and solve it. 15 and 18, okay, yeah, the factors were 15 and 18. It was taking time, so. So the factors are x plus uh, 18 times x minus 15 is equal to 0. You can multiply, so the x's are minus 18 or x is 15. Okay, so which of the answer will you accept? So if x is, if x is 15, if x is negative 18, x plus 3 would be minus 15. And if x is 15, x plus 3 would be 18. Okay. Which will you accept? Because we say the difference of the reciprocal is. So let us say try this. So this the reciprocal of this would be 1 over 15. And the reciprocal of this is 1 over 18. And the reciprocal of this, okay, so let me get a calculator. So I go 1 ABC, 1 ABC 15 minus 1 ABC 18. It gives me 1 over 19. So this is acceptable. So what happens if I take minus 1 over, which is greater, yeah. Okay, so the greater this is, negative is, just negative 18 is smaller, so the reciprocal has to be, but here the answer would be negative, so we'll take only the positive answer, okay, but we'll write here, but x has to be greater than 0, okay, which implies the two numbers, the two numbers are, 15 and 18. See you in the next video.